Hello, my name is Janice. Hello, my name is Janet. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Hello, my name is Zainan. My name is Aisha, and when I grow up, I want to sell ice cream. The faces, the voices, and the ambitions of young London, captured at a moment in time. Sounds simple, right? Hello, my name is Fred, and I would like to be a gymnast when I grow up. And I would like to be an archaeologist. I would like to be an artist. I would like to be an astronaut and have parties on the moon. This class at Little Ealing Primary will be part of a huge new project linking an Oscar-winning director, one of the country's leading art galleries, and yes, the year three pupils of London. It's the brainchild of this man. Long before dreams of arts prizes and Oscars, as a seven-year-old, Steve McQueen was enjoying life in the suburbs, lining up with his classmates for his own school photo, here at Little Ealing. People from all over the world at my school, mm. but I didn't want, no, I never thought about it, yeah. never cared about it, only when I got older, I think, oh yeah, Zafa, he's from Pakistan, and Reza is from Iran, he was from Iran, so you think, oh, okay. You start thinking about people mm. because you never thought, you know, that was never a conversation. You just knew they were, had an idea of their background, but that wasn't the important thing. The most important thing with respect was if you could play football and, and, and girls at that time. <laughs> Maybe not at seven, but you got the idea. Yeah. He was to go on and win the Turner Prize for Art back in 1999, then an Oscar in 2013 for the movie 12 Years a Slave. Now he wants to recapture the spirit of his own class photo. Because it's, it's a very formal photograph. It's really, you know, it's like, you know, you're standing, sitting and cross-legged with a teacher either side or one side. I just love that format. And it was just about, it's reflecting on, on that class, it's reflecting on that school, and it's also reflecting on that society. But for me, growing up in London was so important for who I am as a person. And uh, this project, in a way, is somehow, how do I reflect that? How do I sort of get to a situation where one can actually um, reflect and show our future. Yeah. <laughs> this is a scene that will be coming to primary schools across London over the next year. And you go sit there, go. And you go sit there, go. And you go sit there, go. A team of photographers sent out to gather the faces of Year 3s across the capital. Five minutes down the road in a school I used to work in, the, the children would have been very, very different. Um, so it, it's great that this project is going ahead and that we'll be able to capture what all different pockets of London look like at this moment in time in London. This is where the finished exhibition will be, in the heart of Tate Britain. Well, I think we, what we have here, we're going to have a certain kind of cylinder space right in the middle. Yeah. So we'll have images on the wall, out on the outside wall. And, uh, and there's going to be sort of a block in the middle where we have it all around here as well. It's going to be a little bit of like a maze. It's one of the most ambitious projects that Tate has ever undertaken, putting it together a huge challenge for all involved. London is an incredibly diverse city and um, you know it's still growing. And to connect to children at that point where they are looking across London to say, what is here for me, seems to me one of our roles. As, um, as the national collection and a national institution. Can I have a big smile after three? Back at Little Ealing, they're almost ready for their big moment. A test picture before photographers like David hit the road for real. <laughs> this time next year, they'll find themselves part of one of the capital's biggest art exhibitions. Yeah! Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.